Hey, where's Perry? And where's Candace and Doofenshmirtz as well? It looks like we got a bit scattered around after the last dimension hop. Well, I know what we're gonna do today, Ferb. Let's find the rest of the group. I bet these electronics will come in handy later. We should collect as much as we can. Ooh, a gold token. I bet we can use these for some fun games later. Whoa! Fur, pull out your baseball launcher! looks a lot like home. Almost exactly. That's our house. That's where we built the coolest coaster ever. With the notable addition of a large second helping of dessert. Yeah. There's some serious lack of moderation here. I wonder what caused this to happen. Let's keep investigating. Dimension Isabella here. I'll be briefing you guys on any equipment you happen to come across. Your health is full, so you don't need a health pack yet. Ferb, look! I bet we could use the spare parts around here to construct a platypult. First, you should find each of the parts your blueprint needs. Look in the area around you for them. You may have to travel a little out of your way. We just need one more piece. There, we got the parts we need. Now let's finish our blueprint. You got all the parts. Now head over to the blueprint and finish your invention. I have a feeling we'll be making a lot of gadgets like this in our adventure. If you break open a health crate, they usually have several health packs inside. We'll need an extra boost to get across that. Dimensionator is talking! Ferb, didn't that sound like Baljeet? We need to amplify the strength of this antenna. Let's get to building. We've built an awesome giant antenna. We got a reading here that shows your other dimensionator powered down. You two are stuck in your current dimension. You can pick that up. I am a scientist. And even better, I can locate power sources for you. 
For example, I am picking up a huge source of power deep in the sewers. Why do we need to find power? The other dimensionator you are using to skip across dimensions is out of power. Luckily, we can power it up manually. All right. So where's this power source? Head down that slide in the treehouse and you will find access into the sewers. You can tell there's a slide here? Science! Dr. Doofenshmirtz? Oh, hey there! We're heading down into the sewers. Head down there and we'll meet up with you. to the sewers. some close combat. Okay, now that's just ridiculous. Oh no, he's got you. Shake, shake free to get out. Deeper in the sewer. Keep going. You're getting closer. You have a new chip. We should visit a workbench as soon as we can. are huge. I think we'll need something to lift them into place. I know. Let's build an anti-gravity ray. We can use it to lift all sorts of things.
We should be able to use the anti-gravity ray on these. for that bridge. You will have to redirect it, but someone took out the reflector. Hey, we can use our anti-gravity ray to put these in the right places. It's a trap! If an enemy is too large, the anti-gravity ray can't pick it up. for your gadgets. As your gadgets level up, you'll get more slots to install chips and make them more powerful. Great! Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you found me. These little blobs have been staring at me since I arrived. Help, 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 help! Oh, uh, finally. I thought I was gonna be trapped by those glot monsters forever. Candace, head down that path near you. It should lead you back to us. We'll meet up with you deeper in the sewers. I'm so through with gelatin. Forever. That was close. Good thing we built these automatic transporter belts. Try using the anti-gravity ray to lift those gears into place. One so down with gelatin, just just that. <laughs> no, no, that's just fine. Just keep just keep walking, keep walking. I can get myself out eventually. Somehow. Curiouser and curiouser. Health packs will restore a bit of health to both of you. Grab them when you're feeling low.
Lad started something. Let's hope nobody heard.